The Briarcliff football team is on an upswing lately, just three years removed from an 0-11 finish. They followed that up with their first winning season in 2018 and finished just a game shy of doing it again last year. And they're hoping that arrow just continues to trend upward. Briarcliff welcomes the largest freshman class since head coach Dennis Wagner arrived in 2017, but will need veteran leadership to continue the team's climb in the conference. In the GPAC, Northwestern and Morningside are typically the top two teams vying for that conference crown, which is somewhere Briarcliff would like to be as well. But that kind of success doesn't just happen overnight. And Wagner believes that his team has the pieces to continue the climb if they continue to work. By doing the little things right, you know, come on like sure, Morningside, they do the perfect, they do little things right. So if we can do the little things right, make sure we're on time to everything, I feel like we can, we can compete. Make sure we pay attention to practice, dial in, focus in, locking in, everything, I feel like we can compete. The class I inherited as freshmen are our seniors, there's nine. So those nine guys have fought through and stayed with us, and uh, so it's important we take the next step, you know, and with nine games, we've been over 500, but we need to be even better than that, you know, and in this league, if you... If you go seven and two or eight and one, you got a great chance to go to the playoffs. So that's our goal is to put ourselves in that spot. Chargers opening next weekend on the road when they tra travel to Creed to take on Doan. Of course, they were set to play at home against Jamestown this Saturday, but had to postpone that game due to the amount of coronavirus cases for the Jimmies.